Hey guys, it is Booligan with Booligan Airsoft and Airsoft Insider Magazine. And today, doing another follow-up video on my very small uh, folding 12-gauge Hatfield shotgun project. Where is it? Well, it's right here in my back pocket, if you believe it or not, because I am just about done with this thing. Right now, I currently have it set up so that it can fold basically completely in half and is secured in that folding. It's not going to unfold until you want it to. And then it's ready to go. Let's talk a little bit about the things that I have done to it since my last installment. In my last installment, you may remember, I cut off about nine inches of barrel. I replaced the bead sight, which was on that extension, with some fiber optic sights from True Glow. And just started to do a little bit of work to get it to fold in half more. Originally, it would fold to about here, but now, it goes all the way so that it's got just a nice little, you know, let's call it about a little under a half inch gap there at the bottom. So, what I did to make that happen is, it's fun doing that, never going to get tired of that, is reshape the trigger guard. Now, this is the only part that still needs a little bit of paint. Did a little bit of quick bluing on it, and it didn't take very well to the quick bluing. So, we'll actually paint that trigger guard. So, that's reshaped. Got some wood that's been worked out here and then had to reshape the uh, heel of the stock um, and now it looks smooth, flush, very factory. So what I did since then is I finished the, doing the woodwork, did a little bit more shaping, a little bit more smoothing, and then I started uh, finishing it. So the finish on this, I stripped the old uh, finish off with some citrus strip and am replacing it now with boiled linseed oil. I'm about four or five coats into it so far, doing it every single day um, until we get just a nice, strong, uh, well, uh, well protected finish for all moisture environments that I may run into. Now, one thing that I didn't like was when it was folded, it was still able to just open up. So if you have it in a pack or something like that, it could easily open up. Um, if you're, you know, trying to carry it folded, you have to kind of hold it like that. Um, so I said, you know, let's make a little solution for that. So what I did, look here at the front, I did a notch here in the vent rib using a Dremel tool. And then I bent a piece of one eighth inch welding rod and then drilled the accompanying holes in the stock. So now it has a shoulder thing that goes up. Sorry, gun control activists. This is now an assault shotgun because it has the shoulder thing that goes up. But really what that shoulder thing does is it goes down. And normally you won't lock it in place. You have to actually press it down. And there you go. Now it locks in place. It's secured and that little bit of pressure is provided by this little rubber guy here on the bottom, uh, which also keeps the wood from hitting itself. So now that's locked in place. That's not going anywhere. This is very easy to tuck in a backpack, in a go bag, uh, in a truck, something like that. This is a very, very good go gun now. The other thing that I did, you'll see this little guy here on the bottom. So what's this? That's a nice little compartment. It's one inch in diameter and a couple inches deep, about five inches deep. So you can fit all sorts of things in there. You can fit a couple of Aguila mini shells. You can fit some survival essentials, some foot and steel, some matches, uh, some fishing line, really whatever you think you may need to survive out in the sticks. And then it's all closed up with this nice little rubber plug. Overall, cost-wise, I am in this thing about $125. And for that, what I have is a relatively short 12 gauge shotgun with about a 19 and a half inch barrel with fiber optic sights that are good both for wing shooting as well as for like turkey or if I needed to shooting slugs uh, shooting buck could take a deer with this I probably couldn't because I'm a not very good hunter but the option is there I've got the ability to store some survival essentials in the butt and I've got this nice little guy here that locks everything all together when storing it I am in love with this thing. I love how it turned out. I love how inexpensive it ended up being. It wasn't necessarily easy. There was a fair bit of work involved in it and a lot of trial and error and learning how things worked and learning how to do certain things with the woodworking and so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, overall, 
this thing turned out quite nice, in my opinion. Obviously, feel free to sound off about how I butchered a shotgun and made it look terrible and whatever. That's fine. I'm used to it. Um, but here you go. So you could build something like this yourself for not too expensive. Just watch the previous videos in this guide and uh, feel free to ask any questions if you're trying to build something like this yourself and I'm happy to answer them and uh, guide you on your way. Still a couple things we need to do with it though. We need to finish up that trigger guard, but that's probably not gonna get its own video. Um, and gonna figure out what we're gonna put in the butt. So you guys sound off and tell me what you think I should put in the butt of this shotgun. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the range. Tell me what you'd like to see me shoot when I bring this to the range. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely do it at a later date. And get out there. So uh, definitely try to do something like this yourself if you're interested in a survival or bug out or just a compact folding shotgun. Uh, base shotgun from Walmart, 99 bucks. Couple of parts from Amazon, from True Glow, and just a little bit of elbow grease. So stay tuned. Gonna have more projects like this, more budget projects, a little bit higher budget projects, and just cool things that you can do with guns that you can buy. So, thanks for watching.